Are you new to Football Manager or maybe you're here because you just want to see how somebody else plays the game? Maybe you want to pick up some tips and tricks on how to play Football Manager. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to load up a save and how to get to the point where you're just about to start as the manager of your chosen football club. This will be the first video in a series that will be on the channel that will be out every Sunday at 2 p.m. and we'll go from now when you first load in the game up to the end of the first season. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the channel. I'm Damo, Rad Evil Damo. And as I said in the intro, we're gonna take you from the moment when you first load in a save on Football Manager, when you first start it up, selecting a club you wanna play, what settings you need, all that sort of stuff. The next episode will be about what you do pretty much in day one on the job when you first see your inbox and the series will basically just progress from there. Not sure how many episodes there's gonna be, but if there's anything in particular that you want to see me cover, then let me know down in the comments and we'll see about getting to that at some point during this series. And I'm gonna play a season on this game and let you see how I play it basically. So with Football Manager, it's a kind of game that anyone new to the game can feel a bit overwhelmed with the amount there is to do because there's so many buttons to press and options to choose and everything else and there's been people I know that have picked the game up gone to start it but then just not progressed any further with it because even once they've got into the game itself they just can't get their head around everything that's available for them to do now before we get into it a few housekeeping things obviously I'm going to ask you to leave a like on the video everyone does that it does help the video immensely and it could help somebody else that is new to the game find this video as well. So please do drop a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos from this series, hit the notification bell so that it pops up in your notifications. And that's really all I want to say for housekeeping. So let's get into the game. Now my start screen is going to look slightly different to your one because you're new to the game, you haven't loaded in anything yet. So this dashing looking gentleman here will not be on your screen and this box here that says most recent that will also not be available on your screen when you first start the game up you'll have start a new game load game join online game now the first thing I'd say is before you go into the game go into the preferences when you go into the preferences you can set anything you want from this screen so you can check that it's in the right language for you if you want it in front in French uh, check that box same with currency if you want it in Chilean peso put it in that obviously I check this so it's always in English and pound sterling I have it in full screen mode but you can choose windowed if you want skins we'll get into skins more in the future but if this is the first time you've loaded up a video or loaded up the game you'll only have that as an option anyway so I do have that and a work the space WTCS gold version 1.1 which I use in my videos but for the sake of this, so that it looks like how your game will look, we are just gonna keep Football Manager. You've then got scaling over here. And for scaling, as you see, if you start down here, that's 85% zoomed out, go all the way up this end, and it's 175% zoom in. Now, if you're on a laptop that's got a smaller screen, for example, you're gonna to wanna to zoom in probably around 95%, depending on your screen size. If you have got a, a, like a 14 inch screen size, you'll want to choose 85% I'd imagine. I've got a 27 inch monitor, so I choose zoom in to 110%, but you can go anywhere along there you want, just try them out, experiment with them, see what suits you best, because for me, I probably should wear glasses, but I don't, I've got glasses somewhere in the house, but I don't know where they are. I just find that suits me the best. You might be different. The PC's graphics capability, mine has already been selected as high. I would advise you just hit recommended for this PC and then it will do checks in the background and it will set it to what it should be and it will be anything from very low to very high. You can have match sounds and music on if you want. So match sounds is basically the cheering and the booing and whatever else. I always take them off, I don't wanna have those on. You can also change these in the game as well which we'll get to in a future episode so yeah i always tick those off if you go into the advanced column 
you've got things here from mo all most common general interface formats, match and accounts. If you start with all, it will literally give you all. Now, I don't tend to go into all. You have most common. This one here is for your saves. How often you want to save? Do you want to save it every day, every week, fortnight, month, three months, year, blah, 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 blah. You can do it after every match. You can do it 60 minutes in real time, 30 minutes in real time, whatever you want to select. I always have it on fortnightly. That always suits me. And also have a free file rolling auto save, which basically means that it will save after a fortnight or if you save it yourself, then it will save it again and a second separate file a fortnight later, and then a fortnight after that will be a third separate file, and then you'll go back to the first one again a fortnight after that. For me, that always means that if I have a crash or something badly goes wrong and I get one of the files, like the most recent file, corrupted, I've always got another two that I can fall back on. I, but to be fair, I've always had that one. But you can select single file, new file for every auto save, five files, ten files, whatever you want. I always, I've always had it free even before I've done content creation. When you go to online game preferences, that obviously deals with the online side of things. I don't really play Football Manager online, very rarely, so I don't really have any need to go into there. With skin colours, now, I don't do a great deal with this, but you can completely customise it however you want. So attributes, I always come in here and change my attribute colours because I like to have like a whitey grey colour for the low attributes. The Average attributes are green, and I set the average attribute threshold at nine, and that will become clearer once we get to, into the game. But basically, the attributes are what are assigned to your players, so they'll get attributes for technical, physical, and mental, and they'll be rated between one and 20 on each of those attributes. And there's many attributes listed under each column. Obviously, the higher the attribute, the better they are. So if they're 20, they're absolutely phenomenal in that attribute. If they're 0, 1, whatever, I don't think I've ever seen a 0, so I think 1 would probably be the lowest. Then they're obviously absolutely diabolical. So if they've got a 1 for balance, then you can probably assume your player's going to be falling over all the time. Now, average, like I say, is set at 9. Good attribute, I set at 12, and I have that in blue. And red... I have for excellent and I set that at 16. Some people have that as 15. I think it's 15, 11 and 8, I think it is, as the default settings. I can't remember what the default colours are, but I, that, they're the colour scheme I go for. I think it pops more. But again, all you've got to do is click onto it and you can choose any colour from here. So if you want to choose a blue one, for example, you just do that. And then you can choose anything inside the gradient you want to choose. You just do that one and that's what it will give you. Positions, obviously it's what their capability is in that position. So that's what's automatically selected by the game. I leave it at that. I think it's perfectly fine like that. But again, you can change it. Again, you just click in the box, choose whatever colour you want, and then click OK afterwards. And then for other things like players on loan, in, out, players on trial, in, out, so on and so on and so on, all the way down. You can read all that. Again, select the colours if you want to change them. I always leave them exactly as they are you can even change the standard ball color so if you want your standard ball color to be red you just select that and if you want your winter ball to be black then you can select that and that's exactly what you'll get now like i said i never touch any of these ones i only touch the ones up the top once you've done that though you need to confirm okay so we're back in our preferences that was the custom skin color. Then you've got your shortcuts, you can customize your shortcuts here. So change that however, I never change any of this. I leave it exactly as it is, but I know some people do like to change things. So if you want to do an interface search, it's control and F basically. But if you want to change that to be something else, then go for it. To continue the game is a space. So just click the space bar and that will continue the game onto the next section of the game. I very rarely use my keyboard, I usually just use the mouse. Then down here you've got your game language, so if you are in America for example and you want to select American, you can choose American, so it would be English US. If you're in Denmark you can choose Dansk, obviously I have it on English. Temperature, 
Celsius, Fahrenheit or Kelvin, I know it in Celsius. I know the Americans tend to go by Fahrenheit, but I know it in Celsius, so I click it on Celsius. Again, you've got there about how often you want to save your game. You've already selected that up there. And your standard ball color. If you then go into general, that gives you a whole load of things in here. I very rarely go into general other than to make sure the currency is set to pound sterling and the wages are set to weekly. Again, just change that to how you're familiar with it. Most of that you're going to, you're probably not going to need to change anyway. Then we go into interface. Not really a great deal on here that you'd need to know about, that you'd need to do. Sometimes you might need to come in here if you want to use cash to decrease page loading times. Things are already ticked, so I just leave ticked as they are. I don't change any of that. In terms of formats, this is basically the main page that I come to. Again, I'll select, make sure pound sterling is created, weekly wages, temperature Celsius, height. As a default, it goes to meters, I believe. I always change it to feet, feet and inches, because that's what I know. Weight, again, you can go kilograms, pounds or stones. I always go stones because that's, again, what I'm used to. And you can see through short distance as long as it's match odds format. The one I always do come to is the date. So the format, date, month, year, always make sure it's ticked for that. If you're on a device that's set up in an American way, it will be month, date, year. So you might want to just change that around. And just make sure this is all set up to how you want to have it, basically. Then you've got your match. Now, all of this you can do in the in the match itself, and I would probably advise that would be the way to do it. Obviously, this you'd have done earlier on in the first part of the preferences. Frame rate, I just leave it automatic. I don't change any of all, any of this. But as you get further down, you can then, when your highlights are playing and it's live, full match, comprehensive, extended, key, and only commentary. I have key for my actual matches during the course of a season, although during pre-season I do have it on extended, but we'll get into that again, like I say, later on in the series. Camera, you can choose with 2D classic, sideline, behind goal, vertical scrolling, data analyst or director. Again, I always have TV for during the actual season, but in pre-season when I've got extended highlights on, I usually choose data analyst because I want to see how my team are playing. And it's kind of, that's a 3D way of being able to get the 2D classic. 2D classic is not something you'll see very often from people. But again, if you're on a low end device and you can't play the match engine on your device, then 2D classic will be what you've pretty much got to use. You can then choose the match speed during highlights. These are the settings I always go for. But again, I never do it in the preferences. I probably should do, to be fair, but I never do. I usually do it during the actual... Um, game itself like the first game then you choose about your replays replay op show opposition replays you can choose none for events or just goals Dis you tick as many of these as you want tight offside goal line technology so i'll tell you what we'll tick goal line technology so during the course of the save we might be able to see some goal line technology being used and then once you've clicked confirm you can then you'll then be taken to a screen that will change your skin. You'll get a little box pop up saying change your skin, please wait while we reload and all this sort of stuff. It can take a little while depending on the type of device you got. So don't worry about it, just bear with it and let it go. Then we come back into the preferences and the only other box left is accounts. I never go in it. You, if you're in FMFC, you can sign out and you can log in to enable friends from Epic to join your save. I don't need to do any of that, so we're done. Now, before we move any further, I will just explain to you that at certain points in this um, series, I will be using footage from my Averley save, which is the one you can see on screen at the moment. That's a series we've got on the channel at the moment. It's a journeyman where we start in the Vanarama National League South with Averley FC. We've just completed the first season. I won't give away what happened, just in case you want to go back and watch the series. It's only 10 episodes old, so there's not much to catch up on. And I think it's been a highly enjoyable first season, really. So, yeah, I'll be using footage from that and also be using footage from my Arsenal save, which is a private save I've got that I play offline every now and then when, I, when I've got a bit of spare time. 
And the reason why I'll be showing you footage of both of those is so that you can get it from the non-league perspective as well as the Premier League perspective. So if we get back to this, you've got start new game, load game, join online game. You're going to want to start a new game. You've then got these options up here. Career, the full featured simulation experience, manage your team your way. You've then got create a club where you literally create your own club. Online career where you can have a career online and play with friends and all that sort of stuff. Fantasy draft and then versus which is an FMFC exclusive. So we're going to select career because that's the most common one you will be selecting. That's the one you'll select when you first go in. We're going to manage in the Premier League and I think we will go with we'll go with Chelsea. Why not? No, actually, we're not. That's too predictable. We'll go with Aston Villa. So up here, you've got club manager, international manager, club and international manager or unemployed. So if you select unemployed, you will literally start a game without a club and you'll have to search for a club. If you select club manager, then you can click on this box. You've got England there. You can choose teams from South Africa, anywhere in Asia, Europe, North America and South America. So we're, we've chosen England. When you're in that country, so again, if you go to the Bundesliga, for example, you want to manage in Germany, they're the, the leagues that are available from Germany. You've got the Bundesliga, Bundesliga 2 and 3 Liga. Again, like I say, we want to select England and we're going to select the Premier Division. But again, you can go down as far as Vanarama National League, North and South. We're going to go Premier Division, Aston Villa. This here is just the database run. If you, it's Football Manager 2024 is a standard database. The only time that can change is if you download databases from Steam or wherever else and put them into your game. But we're obviously not doing that here. So then you choose Game Mode. And you then get a choice between three game modes. So you've got original, which is literally the way FM has always been played. So you start at the start of the season or whatever date you select to start. And all the players that your club or the club you've taken over have made in the summer will already be at your club, even if they didn't arrive until the 31st of August. If you select real world, that is basically the same as original, except the players will arrive at your club when they did in real life. So if they didn't arrive until the 31st of August, then they won't arrive at your club until the 31st of August. Then you've got your world. The start date is the 17th of July, 2023. Club squads and budgets will be accurate as of the start of the 2023-24 season with no real life transfers reflected after that date. So any transfers that Aston Villa in this case made after the 17th of July will not be reflected in this game. Instead, we will get the transfer budget that they spent on them players from that point forward. So in original and real world mode, you will have very minimal transfer budget because your clubs have already done their business. So for example, with my Arsenal save, I'd done that on original and my transfer budget was 5 million at the start of the game. If I'd selected it in your world, it would have been a lot more, probably around 150 to 200 million. So we're going to go with your world for this one. And we're then going to, now you can click quick start, advanced setup, or if you've changed your mind and you want to run out of the game, click cancel. I always go for advanced setup, and that's what I'm going to show you how to work your way through the game now. So these are leagues that I've preloaded into a different save that I've done. Up here, you've got your database. You can select a small database, which as you can see takes the player count down to 61,470, a medium database, 64,360, or a large database, 67,360. You can also go into advanced and you can select continents. So if we want to add Asia, you can then decide whether you want just the current international players, players based in that nation, players of nationality, players from top division clubs and so on and so on and so on all the way down and you'll get that option for any of the re any of the continents that you choose you can say actually i just want east asia you get the same options for that if you just want to choose divisions let's go into germany and you can choose what of all these divisions you want loaded in i never use it and again you can choose small medium or large database that will severely slow down 
your speed, the speed that your device can process the game at. I never do any of that. Some people do, I don't. Now, I've got a fairly decent PC, but at the same time, I don't ever want to go to below, I'd say no, don't go below two stars. Ideally, get it up to three stars, but mine's saying two and a half stars with these leagues. I don't always trust this because my, my PC runs a game with far more leagues than this in it and at a much lower estimated game speed very well at the moment, a few seasons in. Obviously, the more seasons you get into the game, the slower your device will get because it's got more information stored and to process and whatever else. So bearing in mind that it might be quick to begin with when you've only got one star estimated game speed, but once you get four, five, six, seven years into the game, it can slow down dramatically. But that being said, you can also add and remove leagues in game. And again, we'll get to that at another point. Now we've got England, Skybet League Two and above loaded in. We've not selected the Conference League or, or National League, I should say in the National League North and South. Because we're a Premier League team, we're not really going to need that. You could say you don't need anything below the Championship and just select Skybet Championship and above. You could say in France, all we need is a top division. In Germany, we only want the top division. In Italy, we only want the top division. And in Spain, we only want the top division. Now, as you can see, that's made no difference to the game speed, but it has reduced our player count by about four to 6,000. You can also decide that you only want to have it as view only. Now, by doing that with Spain, that's reduced the database by 10,000, but it has given us an extra half star on the game speed. For Italy, you might say, oh, playable, view only below. This one, we're keeping playable, playable and playable. Yeah, we're fine with that. Then you get down to your advanced options. Now, I always have do not add key staff ticked because if you start the save and you've only got two coaches out of 10, then if you don't have that ticked, the coach will add, uh, the computer will add the missing staff members. You don't want that. You want to be able to get select your own staff. You don't want the game to be doing it for you. Do not use real fixtures. I never have that ticked. I never tick the box to add players to playable teams because again, what that will do is if you've not got a big enough squad, it will add players to your squad and they will be NAF players. So just don't bother ticking it. Disable first window transfer activity. If you're wanting to make this game really difficult, or at least more difficult, you can select your world and then disable the first window transfer activity, which means you have to play with the team that finished the previous season with. And you won't be and nobody will be able to make transfers, not just you, but all the other clubs as well. Disable player attribute masking. Now, this can be a bit of a contentious one. Some people believe you should leave that unticked so that you enable player attribute masking. Now, player attribute masking is basically where we talked earlier on about the attributes with the colours of the attributes and things like that. If you untick that box so that you've en enabled player attribute masking, then basically what happens is you won't see the attributes for the players unless you scouted them. And then the attributes that you see will depend on how well you scouted them. So if you've only got a very small amount of knowledge of them for the attribute strength under physical, it will say something along the lines of 6 to 13, which doesn't really tell you anything. Once you get more knowledge of the player, that number will get smaller. It will go 8 to 13 or 9 to 12. Once you've got extensive knowledge, it will basically give you the attributes that that player's got. Although it does also need to be said that that information is provided to you by your scouts, and the accuracy of that information also depends on how good your scouts are. But again, that's something for another episode. So for the sake of this, we are going to disable player attribute mask. Not going to, we're going to enable player attribute masking so that you can see in game how it works. Prevent control of the teams with managers in place. If you don't want to take charge of 
if you're starting unemployed, for example, or you only want to take charge of teams that don't have a manager, tick that box and then you can only pick a team that doesn't have a manager in-game. Prevent use of the in-game editor. So Football Manager comes with an add-on, a DLC, called the in-game editor, which you can... We'll get into what the in-game editor does in another episode. But if you want to use it, it's entirely up to you. It can be considered cheating by a lot of people. People can use it for cheating. As a content creator myself, I use it for experiments and to test things and things like that. But I don't use it in my actual saves that I do, like my Averley save, for example. I don't use it in my Arsenal save because I have no, no use for it. But if I want to see what a player can look like if they've only got certain attributes and things like that, I'll use the in-game editor. There's also a pre-game editor, which again is something we'll get into in a future episode, but that's not one of your options on here anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. So if you don't want to use the in-game editor, tick the box to prevent the use of the in-game editor, and then you won't be able to use it. Once you're happy with all of this, oh, you've then gone game start date over this side, where you're in England, that's your only option. So you just select that. Last chance to change your mind of what mode you want to play it in. We're going to stick with your world. You're then ready to hit start game. Once you've done that, you have selected six leagues from five nations. The game will start in England in July 2023. Start game. Now, don't be worried. You're not going straight into the game here. You will now go into a section where you pick your manager. And that's the bit that I will pick up with you right after this. Okay, welcome back. So we're now on the manager creation screen. And this is the manager I'm using for my Arsenal save. I can see he's very funky with all the different colours that he's using. We won't use this manager for this. We'll go through the new profile. So this manager we will call Roger Rogers. Very creative. So you put your own name in here, you can put a different name in, it's entirely up to you. Don't worry about these up the top because you'll get to them as you click down here. Select if you're male or female. And then you will have the option to choose your nationality. We're not American, we are, or I am English. Now rather than scrolling through, you can actually type it in just here. So just put English and then select that. Place of birth, you can select your real place of birth if you want. We're just going to go with the first one, Abingdon South East. No idea where that is, but we'll pretend we do. Date of birth, again, you can put your real date of birth. We're just going to leave it as it is. Favourite team. So my favourite team would be Arsenal. I would choose Arsenal from the list, or I'd choose Aston Villa if I wanted it to be the club that I'm at at the moment. Or you can just leave it blank and just not have anything in there. Then you've got experience level. Now, this one is very important if you if you are new to the game, which I assume you are if you're watching this. Teach me about key management concepts. Make sure that box is ticked. It will give you all the tutorials that you will need. Then you go into the body. And we're going to kind of whiz through this because you can play about with this as much as you like. There's no right or wrong with this. You can't get anything wrong. It's whatever you want to do. So in terms of skin tone, select whatever you want the skin tone to be. Height 5'9", yeah, fine, we leave that as that as well. But again, you can make yourself larger or you can make yourself smaller. It's just a sliding scale. We'll just go within the middle. Then you get to your head and you can select any of these things here. So if you want to give yourself a different hairstyle, we'll go with that one. Up here, you can then go with your hair colouring. We'll be a redhead. Select OK. Facial structure, change that if you wish. Facial hair, we'll have a moustache. And we want the moustache to be ginger as well. And it also changes your eyebrow colours. Eyebrows, again, just select what eyebrows you want. We're not going to change much of this now. Again, with your eye colour, we'll have piercing blue eyes. And then skin details. There you go, we'll select that one. We haven't got blemishes. Then you get into your attire. This is the one where I do take it a bit more seriously because I do like to be wearing a certain type of thing so jacket I don't tend to have a jacket so if you so if I go back a minute because I didn't explain that where you've got this section here you've got these two arrows 
click that and then you can select from any of these that you want to wear if you want a big bomber coat you can wear that if you want to be a tracksuit manager wear that for this one we'll choose a polo shirt and trousers so then your polo shirt you can select the color we're with aston villa i think for the sake of this we'll just go with an orange polo shirt the stripe will have white our jeans will be maroon i think that's meant to be and our shoes will be a brownish color there you go then your next option is ability aids you can choose if you want to have a hearing aid or an eye patch then you've got accessories if you've got a jacket you can use a label badge but if you haven't got a jacket you can't i mean i think that's a bit unfair you should be able to wear it with this as well but you can't you choose to have a watch either a normal watch or a smart watch face paint you know if you want to Give yourself some face paint you change the colors of them up here as well there you go that'll do then you're pretty much finished with this part of it you're then going to go into your managerial style so now we're in the managerial style there's this option here if, so you've got coaching badges and past playing experience under each one there's a box that says suggest badge based on and then it'll be the name of the club that you're with so in this case that's the villa so we've got the box ticked on both sides and that then generates these points. If you untick that, you can start with no coaching qualifications. And if you untick that one, you can have yourself as a Sunday league footballer. And that's literally all the coaching points you get. If you do that, however, and you're at a Premier League club, you're going to very much struggle to get the players to respect you because they have absolutely no idea who you are. That You haven't got no coaching badges or anything like that. Now on here, I don't feel I need to be that strong as a goalkeeping coach. So we'll take that down to say four points for each. That gives us back 12 more points. I want to have working with youngsters up at 20. And I want to have mentals as high as I can go. So we'll take that up to 18. So you can move these about however you feel. You reduce them, you can add others. But you can only use the amount of points that get allocated for your managerial style. You're then going to be ready to click confirm. And here we go, folks. We are now ready to start the game. Aston Villa, hi, Rogers. Aston Villa have today confirmed the appointment of Roger Rogers as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 29-year-old. And he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Villa Park. He replaced his previous manager, Unai Emery. Now, after you select next on this one, it will give you this screen here which is worth a read it tells you what your reputation is it tells tells us we've got Monchi as our director of football we've got Pablo Villa as our assistant manager it tells us a bit about the stadium state-of-the-art training facilities superb youth facilities excellent youth recruitment a transfer budget is 50 million pound and our wage budget is 2.8 million and then a little bit of history down here and tells you where you enter the competitions once you click next again, this is another very important screen. So according to your assistant manager, basically, your the formation that best suits your current squad is a 4-2-4. So we will keep that up here and we'll remember that for when we get into the game. It tells you about any transfer obligations, transfers in, transfers out, loans in, loans out, all that sort of stuff. At the moment, we've got Kane Kessler Hayden on loan to Plymouth until the end of the season. Down here, it tells us our, our key player is Emmy Martinez. Captain is John McGinn. Our squad personality is professional. Obviously, there's no top goal scorer because it's the start of the season. Top owner is Yuri Tillemans and hot prospect is O. Kellyman. So we will see all that when we get into the game anyway. We're a professional personality squad. That is your best 11, basically. Once you then click next again, it will give you the club vision. Now, in terms of reading this, if it says required and you've got all the boxes filled, basically, you have to do that. So what we've got here is work within wage budget is required. Be competitive in the FA Cup is required. We don't need to go down too, too much further. Then you've got preferred and there's usually desirable on there, but it doesn't seem to have that. So then you've got preferred and favoured. So preferred is above favoured. You can tell by the amount of boxes that are highlighted in each one. 
So just have a read of this. Do not sign players over the age of 28. Sign players under the age of 23 for the first team. Sign players to sell for a profit. That's favoured. You're not going to be judged too harshly on these, but you will with working in your wage budget. Expand the stadium. That's a club plan. That's not for you. When you've got here, so in the current season, record a Premier Division top half finish. That is preferred. So you do need to try and get a top half finish. Then you've got preferred for challenge for the Europa Conference League and be competitive for the Carabao Cup. Once you're familiar with all that and you've digested it all, you click next. This then tells you about the club vision and the supporter culture. So this is what the supporters want from you. They want to play attacking football and they want to play entertaining football. So just remember that. Supporter expectations record a Premier Division top half finish for the supporters that is required. Now, it was not required, it was preferred, I believe, from the board, but it is required from the fans. Later on, in the, in the next episode, probably, we, we, yeah, it is in the next episode, we will see how much influence the supporters have on the board. If they have high influence on the board, then you need, need to take a lot of notice of that. If they have low influence, then that's not as important, probably stick with what the board want more. Get the better of our rivals, Birmingham, if we happen to play against them. Get the better of our rivals West Brom if we happen to play against them and finish above Wolves in the league. That is required. You must finish above Wolves in the league as far as the supporters are concerned. So again, that will come back down to how influential the supporters are over the board. So then you get to this bit and this is basically your final part. This is your induction schedule. So where we ticked earlier on that we've basically got no knowledge of the game we want to have all the help we can get. This, you can schedule how you want. So already, tactics induction has been sent and it's sitting in your inbox waiting for you. You've got scouting induction, transfer induction, train induction, squad dynamics induction, data hub induction, medical centre induction, squad induction, backroom staff induction, development centre induction, and set pieces induction. Now, set pieces is scheduled for today and training induction is scheduled for tomorrow i wouldn't change any of these because you, you don't want to do them all at once because it's going to get overwhelming so they staggered it out quite nicely for you so just leave that as it is and then you can deal with it when it comes that way you're not taking on too much too soon once you click next onto here it will then take you to a screen to save your game and once you've saved your game you'll then be into your inbox which is where we will pick up on episode two next Sunday at 2 p.m. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments, like I said earlier, if there's anything else you wish to see and I'll make sure I get around to covering that. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy playing Football Manager and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.